Hi, this video is to cover when you're in the optimize screen how to use the selection check for breaks. It says when enabled you will be prompted to remove trim lines during animate stitching. So that is when you want to remove part of your jump stitches and part of them you want to keep. And this is from the quilting interface help file. So on purpose I have selected a design that that has breaks um, I, I know if I were to choose a different heart selection it would remove them but I want there to be breaks so I can show using this feature so there's breaks in here that we will want to take out but um, if I were stitching within the quilt and and not going off the edge th this break over here on the edge I would want that to stay so here's what you would do Okay, we're going to go into the optimize screen and we are going to go ahead and select check for breaks and now we're going to select animate stitching. So it started at the green dot and then when it got to the red dot it's asking do you wish to remove this break? I do. So I select yes and again it's asking about this break and yes I want to remove it. But now when it gets to this one, I, I want to keep that jump stitch right there. I don't want it stitching um, a, across my design right there. So do you wish to remove this break? No, leave that in there. And then this break, yes, I want to remove it. And this break, yes, I want to remove it. And then when it gets to the end, the usual question, do you wish to connect the first and last points? No, I don't want to do that. So now I can remove this selection and say animate stitching and we can watch it stitch all the way and then it makes that jump stitch and then goes to the end just like I want it to and then I say okay and now it's ready to start stitching and go all the way across and make that blue jump stitch there and stitch back and stop at the red. So I hope you found this video helpful.